How about That's that? right. It's called Inside America. We're going to go to places in our nation that keep it running every day. We've got a live look at Hartsfield Jackson International Airport now. AAA is predicting more about 4.5 million people will fly between today and Sunday. That is a lot. Each year, about 60,000 flights get canceled because of bad winter weather, which costs airlines and airports an estimated $3 billion. Nick Smith is here to give us a closer look at how airports are keeping your flight on time. Yeah, Mitch, the FAA has awarded more than $31 million in grants to strengthen cargo shipping across the country. A large portion of those federal dollars have landed here in Illinois. As the fastest growing cargo hub in the world, the Chicago Rockford International Airport is investing in the region's future by improving its infrastructure. We have been trying to upgrade our equipment over the years, um, and being able to grab the vast majority of, in one shot uh, is, was huge. Keeping runways clear and planes moving. That's the key to keeping your holiday travel plans uninterrupted. This year alone, the FAA has awarded more than $76 million for snowplows, de-icing equipment, and new upgraded buildings to store the machinery needed to service 85 airports in 28 states. With the winter season setting in for Chicago Rockford International Airport, this was an early Christmas present. And without the grant, this would have been done with, you know, we had to go out and direct local funding and, and do local bonding to do this. We were able to use the FAA dollars to, to do that and, and, and main, you know, get a large portion of our fleet upgraded. So the grants that we provide are very important. Shanetta Griffin is head of airports for the FAA, and she's responsible for maintaining airport safety and standards around the country. We help them first with that, that training, and we help them first with really just trying to decide what type of equipment that they need. With roughly 54 million people expected to travel over the Thanksgiving holiday, upgraded fleets are vital to keeping the airports open and functional through the harshest conditions and one of the busiest times of the year. While this airport in Rockford, Illinois, only shuttles 250,000 passengers a year to their final destinations, it's a major hub for transporting time-sensitive cargo. It makes us a lot more efficient on the field, so we have a lot less time on the runway. It keeps the airfield open longer. We're able to get more flights in and more flights out. Rockford is the fastest growing cargo airport in the world, the 14th largest cargo airport in the U.S., um, and being able to have our, our snow uh, fleet be able to meet the needs of the airlines. Um, it, was, it was something we had to do. Even with the right equipment and infrastructure, it takes a village to keep our airports running smoothly during the bustling holiday season. Individuals that are working at these airports take all the credit because they do that um, year round to make sure that an airport is safe and certainly do a lot more work during our winter seasons. Now, that money will also fund a new taxiway and additional lighting to enhance safety on the airfield. One of the reasons this was so important for them to do is because they talked about how fast this particular airport is growing. They move a lot of packages through there. So all of those gifts that we are purchasing for the holiday, they should arrive on time. Okay, well, that I like. I like that part of it. I feel this. like I haven't sir, heard someone say that should arrive on time in like three years. So that's good to hear. It is very good to hear. It's all because <laughs> of the hardworking men and women there at Rockford International Airport. All right. Thank you so much, Nick. We have a lot more. To Thank you for watching. Go to NewsNationNow.com to find NewsNation on your television provider. And don't forget to click the red subscribe button below to get more of NewsNation's fact-driven, unbiased coverage.